Hey everyone, with it being Halloween season, I decided that it would be fitting for us to tier list all of the blighted cosmetics in Dead by Daylight. So let's get to it. All right, so we're starting off with Trapper, the King of Hooks, and I do like this one for Trapper. It doesn't change up his base appearance a whole lot other than it gives him, you know, obviously some of the blighted serum dripping off of him and then huge long horns coming out of his back and then his uh, mask is changed up quite a bit. It looks like it took a chunk out of his weapon or something like that, I don't know. But uh, I like it. It's not like the most amazing blight skin there is. I'm gonna put him as is pretty standard for my tier lists. He's gonna be in B. I like it, I don't love it, but I like it. There we go. All right, and so now we move on to Wraith Sleeping Hollow. So I absolutely adore this skin. I think it is incredibly creepy and changes up Wraith quite a bit. I think my favorite part about it is there's a legit hole going through the Wraith and just with the, the orange stuff dripping out of him. And the weapon looks really cool. Uh, I love his weapon done up in the Blight uh, Serum. It, his weapon has a Blight Serum in it. That, that seems um, a little bit extra, but... <laughs> Why would Blight put a serum in his weapon as well? But I don't know. Uh, but just the fact that the, the face is different. Now, what's weird to me is Trapper, it, it was Trapper injected with Blight serum. Wraith, it's a, he actually is like a tree now. I don't quite get that. Maybe somebody can explain that to me, but he's a tree now with the Blighted serum somehow come to life. I, I really like this one. This was one of my first skins I think I ever bought because I think it looked just so creepy for, for Wraith. So as far as uh, Blighted skins, I would put Wraith in... Or is, am I going to put it in S? Uh, I'm going to put it in S for now, and we'll see how I feel compared with some of the other ones as we go. Because it, it's, it's honestly one of my favorite skins in the game. So I'm going to put it in S. We'll see if I change it from there. So there you go. Yeah. All right, next up, we've got Hillbilly with the Osseous Carcass. Please, somebody correct me if I'm mispronouncing that, which I probably am. But he is, uh, what, how do I feel about him? I like his. It's not overwhelming to me. It's got these weird, like, are these ribs or what are they sticking out of him? I mean, they must be ribs, right? They're, they're where his ribs are, but it almost looks like claws coming out of him. Uh, he's definitely, like, all of his um, scars and stuff become more pronounced, and now he's, like, oozing out of his face and eyeballs and all that, so that's pretty intense. Intense. His weapon somehow, again, also with the weapon, has uh, bladed serum busting out of it, quite literally enough to bend the metal. So I, I like his. I'm not... Uh, of them all, this is probably my least favorite so far. I feel it's a little... Uh, it's a little underdone. I don't know. Maybe because Trapper's... He's got those huge spikes coming out. I guess Hilby has also got spikes coming out of him. But I, I, are these, are the spikes bones? Are they like ribs that are busting out of these people? That Like, that's kind of terrifying. All that to say, uh, his is the least favorite of all the uh, blighted cosmetics so far. So we're going to, we're going to move him in the C tier. I like trappers just a little bit more and then Wraith's obviously a whole lot more. So we're going to, we're going to go with that for now. Next up we have Nurse. Hers is absolutely hideous. <laughs> I d what's with her like she has a hat on now sort of it seems I don't know like this little tail on the bag over her head I don't know maybe the bag's coming off and that's why it's tailing off I who knows so nurses is called the fluid nightingale yeah that's that's fitting this feels very fluid if you ask me she's got a lot of these bulbous things coming out of her that's her intestines like all pulsing and stuff I think uh her face is obviously a little um a little she's got a growth on her face yeah this changes her up quite a bit I mean the weapon look at this thing she's got what she's got blight serum in syringes attached to the weapon when she hits the survivors is the idea she's hitting them with the blight serum injections or is her weapon actually being injected with the blight serum I don't know somebody somebody tell me but this one is uh this one's hideous to me. I don't like it because of how hideous it is, but it, it is gnarly. I think they've done a great job here. Uh, just the back is busted open. Okay, so they've done a great job. It's not my favorite, but we're gonna, it, it changes her look drastically and it is properly disgusting. So we're gonna move this into A tier. It's not my favorite. I like Wraith a lot more, but uh, we'll move it to A tier because they did a fantastic job with it. So there you go. All right, next up we have Huntress and hers is called Growth Surge. So I love Huntress and I bought this one. It's funny because it actually like repairs her mask. So her, her normal one has like a little chip out of her bunny mask and then this one doesn't. It's like it's chipped on the other side and then repaired. I don't know, it's it's weird. It Somehow the Blighted Serum repaired her mask, I guess, and then broke it into thousands of boozy pieces. Okay, she's got like animal eyes. I don't know if you can see that. 
uh, on the on the video, but she has like actual animal eyes like bulging out of her face, which is kind of it's kind of nuts. And then she's got hair all over her, which is just makes her it makes her look very um, like kind of rugged animal, right? And then she's got spikes or something, nails coming out of her. I don't get the nails. The nails is weird to me. Now I will say her weapon is really really cool from the first person perspective. I love this weapon for her. It's it's definitely my favorite part of the outfit. I I like what's happening with the mask here. The rest of it is a little understated and uh i would say this might be my least favorite so far to be honest like i actually do like the skin obviously i bought it but it's i i bought it more because i liked it for huntress and i really like the weapon compared to all the other blade skins it's honestly not one of my favorites so uh i'm struggling where to put it i'm gonna i'm honestly gonna put it in d i i think it's mm, i hate to put huntress in d but it, compared to all the other blight skins it's my least favorite so far so we're gonna we're gonna put her in d maybe if i'm feeling more charitable by the end we can move it up to c but uh i would even say that i probably like hillbillies better in terms of overall design so yeah she's 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 gonna, she's gonna take our D slot. The weapon is the main reason why I'm considering maybe putting it up into C because I absolutely, she has one of the better bladed weapons in my opinion, but eh, I don't know. We'll leave it in D for now and we'll move along. So Hag is properly hideous as well. Uh, this one's actually a lot like Wraith's in some sense because you've actually got like pieces of her missing out of the center and then you can see all her bones and then she's just, yeah, she is properly messed up by the serum. She's got like sharp teeth now and a bony face and it's just all dripping everywhere and oh look it looks like a dinosaur vertebrae now it's nuts what this has done to her so i don't know she's uh again she's not like my favorite i'm not gonna put her up with wraith even though it is kind of wraith-esque but i am gonna put her in a tier along with nurse because she got properly messed up by the blight serum oh this one's hideous oh my goodness i actually haven't looked at this one in a long time that weapon is intense like that thing and he's got intestines hanging out and that his face is all how does he have more eyes somebody explain to me he's now got one two three eyes that 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 is kind of weird to me i mean he's just it, he he looks that his jaw looks very blight-esque like he's on his way to becoming the blight himself except for he's somehow more creepy because of all his and then he's got oh look at this he's got a little uh like some sort of controlling collar on his leg does he normally have that he doesn't normally have that nope he does not normally have that. This is probably the blight trying to control him in some way. His tie even. <laughs> His tie has the blade serum like messing it up too. Uh, I just, wow, this one's this one's properly terrifying to me. His weapon is intense as well. So the weapon, the outfit, everything, his face is what does it for me. Just the kind of, uh, it's so messed up. And The bladed serum has obviously done more to Doctor than a couple of the others so far. So then like Trapper or Huntress even. Which is kind of interesting. So, all that to say, I'm going to move Doctor in S. It's properly disturbing. So, uh, mm. clowns, as it should be, is truly gross. Like, this is terrifying and gross all at once. This is amazing. Yeah, it looks like his stomach is about to burst open, but then has been stitched back together. And it's it's almost like, this is, this is what's creepy about it. He's... He's almost containing the blight serum within himself, right? Most of them, the blighted serum is pouring out of them. He, it's almost just dripping out of small openings. And for the most part, he's actually like holding it within himself. And the, we the weapon is just nuts looking. The blight serum also almost has like a similar effect on metal and wood that it does on the person, it seems. I don't know, but there's no like, there's a couple spikes and stuff sticking out of him, uh, but no like horns or the sharp, the, the huge bones sticking out of the others. It's, it really is. He is almost containing it within himself, which is somehow more creepy. He looks like he's just about to burst open and that somehow disturbs me even more to have this thing, to imagine this thing running at me in real life. And he's missing a shoe, kind of. Dude, you need to like trim your toenails. Okay, so I don't know. He's he's going in, mm, he's going in S tier. Uh, it, it's it's properly, properly disturbing. Yeah. All right, we have a spirit. And what is hers called? The Blazing Lineage. Spirit is the Blazing Lineage. All right, so this one, I don't know. It's it's gross. It's definitely gross. Like with all the kind of pockets of skin that look like they're about to burst open from from it. And then she's from the where the, the limbs aren't quite connected. It's just dripping out of her. Uh, the weapon is real cool. That is a real cool weapon. Her face is all like, oh, she's got the little third eye thing popping out there too. And then uh, this, her neck is like, like 
It looks like a frog suddenly. I like, so this is what I like is she has kind of like the broken shards coming out of her instead of bones, which is interesting to me. And they're they're like mirrors, they're reflective. And so this, this is real cool. I, it's not my favorite, but it is really, really cool and definitely transforms her a lot. Her, she's having a bad hair day, that's for sure. It's kind of how she always is, but especially now. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna put her in A. I think it's a well done skin. Uh, it's not my favorite, but it's very well done. All right, next up we have Legion with the Chimeric Horde, which this one, <laughs> this one is truly disturbing and makes me really question into like the Bladed Serum lore because clearly all four of them, because you've got one, two, three, and then you've got four. All four of the Legion are now molded into one Blighted Horror, which is just uh, truly terrifying. I feel like there's not a whole lot else going on other than the the horror of them all being merged together. And now they, they are they are legion now. That's that's for sure. And then just the the goo dripping from the eyeballs. And man, this is just this is truly terrifying and the stuff of nightmares. So this one this one's going an S for me. I think legions is pretty darn good and truly terrifying. Just the fact that they're all melded into one now just gives me the shivers. Next up, we have Plague, and Plague's is the Servant of the Serum. Hmm. So now, uh, you might be thinking, what's funny is I love Huntress, and I you you know I love Plague because I main Plague, and I, I don't like her blighted outfit for some reason. I mean, it, it's Plague with goo dripping off of her at every point where she normally would have like some sort of, I mean, she's already kind of gross to begin with, and then, I mean, her weapon's kind of cool with the, the Serum, like, the serum like r literally flowing through it, but otherwise it just kind of feels like she's plagued with goo and it doesn't change her up as much as I would imagine it should. And then her headdress is, I don't know, it's really gnarly, but I don't understand why the blighted serum would make her headdress more gnarly than it already was. So I don't know, I, I just, I don't super like it. Yeah, it just doesn't, to me, it doesn't feel like it changes her up enough. It just makes her a little more gross than she already was. And she's kind of, She's plaguish to begin with, right? She's plague, so it's gonna be she she looked gnarly before and now she just looks a little more gnarly. That's I guess that's the long and short of it. I, I just don't feel like it changes her up enough for me to truly love it. Uh, I'm gonna put her with Huntress, which which is killing me because you know I love Huntress and you absolutely know I love Plague, and I've just ranked them both D tier because I don't know. It just they're they're the least impressive ones to me so far. Sadly. Mm. Moment of silence. Alright. Back to it. Alright. So Ghostface is the Scorched Ghostface. Name could use a little bit of work there, but all that to say, his is... Okay, his confuses me in a good way, I think, because th there's a lot going on here. I feel like some of this is almost like art, where you have to look at it for a little bit to appreciate what's happening, and often it draws out things that you weren't expecting, and some of that can be just interesting, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, all, all that to say, why does he have wings? Why does he suddenly have like these bat wings that are kind of folded around his arms? I, that I don't get. So the Blighted Serum must mess up more than just, you know, physical flesh stuff. It must actually, because his, his plastic mask is all melted and gooey and now like part of him and almost like it's got a little blight jaw suddenly. So I don't know what's going on here. His, his like all the stuff out of his chest is busting out and his his cloak is again kind of singed and torn and he's just i mean it's really cool the weapons great i don't know the blade serum does some crazy stuff to some of these characters so all that to say i feel how does it, he has like these weird tattoo things coming out i don't know they're almost like gills or something i don't know all that to say it's like he's lost his eyes too He's got a little bit of a drip in his nose. He needs some Kleenex. But all that to say, not my favorite, but because it just raises all these questions of like, what the heck is going on with the wings and the melted mask and all that? I, I guess, I, I don't know. I like it enough to put it in A. Put it in A. There you go. All right, so Oni just got a new one. And I don't know. Like, I feel it's interesting to me. All the decorative masks on him also have like the stuff oozing out of the eyes. His face looks less like it's being truly affected by the Blight Serum and more like he's becoming more of a monster. Like he looks like a Resident Evil boss taking its final form now because of the Blight Serum. And I don't know what's happening. His blade looks like it's about to 
to like I don't I don't know if I'd hit anybody with that because that looks like it's about to snap. I don't know. It, it looks like it's melting at the center out. But uh, his his muscles are kind of bursting. Does he do anything different with his? Ro no, he just he looks. Wait, no. Does it? I can't tell if it's just the red. Does he actually become more red? I don't know if that's intentional or not. Somebody let me know. But the glowing parts became more red when he transformed, and that that was kind of cool if it was intentional. I couldn't tell though if it was just reflecting off of the the red particle effects coming off of him. It really does look like it's glowing a lot hotter now that he's transformed. You know, I was going to rank it down, but now that I saw that, I'm going to I'm going to rank it up one tier from where I was going to put it. it. It's it's really not my favorite. It it mm. I was going to put it C tier, but because of that little difference of where it actually does react to him going into rage mode, uh, I, I'm going to put it B tier. Yeah, we'll put it B tier. It's a trapper. Let me look at trappers real quick. I, OK, so I mean, Oni's is probably a little more involved than trappers, but for some reason, I just I really love this one for Trapper, so I'm gonna leave it in B tier. All right, so Pyramid Head has the Pyramid Blight. Okay, that one could use a little work as well. That being said, this is a very twisted skin. I love what it did to the Great Knife. That is a very cool weapon change there. And did he, okay, it's stabbed him in the back. Like it just, it's got the barbed wire like busting out of him and everything, and the horns on the end of the, the, um, uh, the, his helmet, I, his head, I, what is it? I don't know. Yeah, I love the detail on this one. Oh my gosh, the weapon has a blighted serum in it. That is, uh, that seems unnecessary, but I don't know. So I think that would confirm my suspicion that the, it, it, the blighted serum affects more than just flesh, that it actually does metal and, and wood and all that stuff too. But it, it's crazy how they brought in the subtle detail of the barbed wire busting out of him and, and the changes to his helmet and all that. So I feel, but it's like still faithfully very much Pyramid Head. So I, don't know, I really like this one. Again, I'm probably not going to put it S, but I think they did a fantastic job with it and uh, somehow making him more creepy, but still honoring Pyramid Head, the license. So I feel like I'm going to put it in a, a tier. All right, now we get to Blight with the True Blight. Okay, that makes sense. And it's basically Blight times Blight. I mean, this is, this is... This feels like Blight's final form, if you will. I have no idea what's happening in his face. These are like the flowers popping out of his face that the Blight Serum was made out of. Uh, it is it is disgusting. And you got all these, like, these are entity claws popping out of him, almost. I mean, there's got to be some lore connection there, which I hope to dive into in a future lore video. But all that to say that this one, I, I really like Blight's Blighted cosmetic i think it makes so much sense yeah it's very interesting to me that uh you know it's a nice little detail that he doesn't have one sticking out of his back like the others because he did this to himself and uh yeah there you go his cane this is about the most intense i've seen his cane look for sure yeah i mean he is just he is all messed up right now that being said yeah i just i really like his his is going s tier for me i think very fitting for blight his is truly disturbing all right nemesis Nemesis Blight. Okay, that one could use a little bit of uh, workshopping as well. So this one is very cool, I think. I mean, he he needs to go up a shoe size, obviously. His his feet are busting out. He's busting out everywhere, basically. <laughs> Somehow you've taken Nemesis and you've made him more intimidating. This is what a Resident Evil... Th these look like Resident Evil mutations mixed, crossed with the Bladed Serum, and I just, I really like that. I don't really understand what happened to his eyes, but all that to say, I think they did a fantastic job. This one is going to be... Uh, I want to put it S tier. Nothing changed with the tentacle. Maybe that's a missed opportunity. I, I feel like I'm going to put this in A tier. I, I really like this one. I think they did a great job. I think they somehow honored... Again, they honored the license and made it their own thing, and that's cool. So he's going in A tier, or Nemesis, A tier. There we go. All right, Dredge does not have one, but I cannot wait to see when they give Dredge one because he's already disturbing enough, but uh, somehow with a blighted skin, I feel like he's just gonna be insane. Uh, other than the fact that can the Dredge actually be altered in any way by the Blight Serum, I wonder, because I don't know, that's a good question. Hmm, thoughts, hmm, all right. And then our other new one, we've got Blighted Wesker. All right, we really need to work on some of these names. That was the least creative one so far, I feel like. But all that to say, I really like this one as well. This one's also gonna go A tier for me. The same things I just said about Nemesis can hold true for Wesker. It really does look 
Like, they, they took his vanilla outfit and made him look very... This, this is what I imagine would happen if you take the mutations that happen with Resident Evil bosses and monsters and you combine it and cross it with the Blight Serum. I feel that is that is a perfect image of what you would get. Like, you just have a lot of the Resident Evil style mutation mixed in with the Blighted Serum and his weapon becomes really, really cool. And yeah, I just, I like this one a lot. So we are gonna put it with, uh, I'm not gonna put it S tier because I really like, I, I would say I like the S tier ones more. So I'm gonna put it A tier along with Nemesis and the others. Uh, again, I think faithful to the license, but in a good, in, in a way where they, they cross over with the DVD lore and make it their own thing and still hold true to the license. So that's A tier. All right, so those are the rankings for my favorite and least favorite blighted cosmetics. Will you let me know your favorites down in the comments below? Let me know which ones are your least favorites. If you enjoyed the video, would you hit that like button? If you enjoy my content, would you consider hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already? And as always, you were awesome. Stay awesome. And we'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.